The history of Buganda Kingdom cannot be complete without mentioning Budo Hill, located in the heart of Wakiso district. At the peak of this royal hill lies Nagalavi Coronation Grounds, one of the key significant culture sites to the kingdom. It is where the chosen prince of Buganda is consecrated and crowned king after the death of his father. To better understand why this site is considered as a backbone of the kingdom, we met Prince John Baptist Serwanja and his young brother Prince Lawrence Chimboa. Prince Serwanja, also referred to by title as the Semanobe, was one of the cultural leaders who carried out ceremonies on the Kabaka Ronald Mwenda Mutevi during his coronation back in 1993. The two leaders tell us that the history of the site dates back to the early 14th century when Kabaka Chintu took over the throne after killing his predecessor Bemba Musota. Kawaka Chintu ordered that no prince would be crowned king without going through the cultural norms and practices on this hill. Since Chintu's reign, it became mandatory for every king to go through cultural rites at these grounds. History also has it that only two kings, Kaleman Chiwewa, defied these orders by fighting their way to the throne. One of the unique features that stands out at Nagalavi is the house Buganda, which was the home of Kabaka Bemba Musota. The house is estimated to be about 813 years. Elders here tell us that the prince to be crowned king is supposed to sleep in the house for at least nine days. During the nine days, the Kawaka makes a master plan on how to steer the kingdom. Another key house where the prince was consecrated is called Buanika. Here, the prince was spiritually empowered with rituals by the Narinya of Nagalavi. When he comes in the house Buanika, he is bathed by a princess and then ushered into the house where his father consecrated. However, tragedy befell the kingdom in August 2012 when the house was set ablaze. Some people who don't like culture are the ones who destroy the sites. Reconstruction of the house has since begun, but with modifications. The house we are constructing will have a fence, surveillance cameras, security detectors to ensure that it is not destroyed again. Once the prince concluded with the ceremonies in the two houses, he headed directly to the place where he is finally crowned king. This particular site is called the Palace of Nachibuka. At that particular anthill is where Ronald Muwenda Mutebi was crowned King of Buganda 20 years ago. It is one of the key features that stands out unique here on Nagalabi Hill, also forming one of Buganda's backbone. When Mutebi sat on the anthill, it only rained where he was. As we continued with our tour around Nagalabi, 
we noticed a very large tree. We could not help but take a minute off to gaze in awe. Only to find out that this tree stands tall in the history of this hill. It is called Mbonerede, translated as I am sorry. Whenever people made mistakes, they would come here to ask for forgiveness. Another tree of great significance is Gunsinze, where Kabaka's subjects would apologize to the king for any wrongs. The features on this royal hill are endless. However, Many of these features are in a sorry state, many of them lying in limbo. What used to be a grass-thatched Buganda house now lies with shutters. We get many tourists, but of late, we are ashamed of taking them around because the place is dilapidated. The coronation site has since turned bushy as 70-year-old Musei William Mugambwa narrates. Nagalavi is no more, yet those in Mengo say they have no money to rehabilitate it. But, according to the kingdom, Nagalavi is not a forgotten site. Uh, already we have listed a number of places which we have put on a priority list. Uh, top is of course Amasiroge Kasubi, the Kasubi royal tombs. Uh, then next is the Wamala royal tombs. Uh, and other tombs, royal tombs. Uh, after that one, Nagalavi is uh, uh, next on the agenda. Uh, the kingdom also wants to turn Nagalavi into a tourism center since it holds one of Buganda's heritage. <laughs> Solomon Serwanja, NTV.